morning everyone me and abdul are here today we got a um, water damaged ceiling just gonna chop a bit out chop a couple of meters out uh, so you're gonna need a uh, screw gun a dust mask plasterboard saw uh, tape measure pencil chalk line some blades and um, your regular setting equipment we're gonna be painting this as well so we're gonna show you start to finish um, so let's uh, let's get started good over here you just want to gauge how much you're going to need to chop out someone said in a uh, hey Abdul someone said in one of my videos you need more practice and you need to get in shape <laughs> it's pretty nasty it's really hurtful guys all right, so first you want to do a bit of chopping, get your dust mask on, just to see uh, what way the trusses or the joists are running, see what's happening in there. And cut a little bit out to make sure that there's no wires coming through. I have a feeling that. a little bit all right not looking too pretty So we've got, we've got a bearing channel going every direction here. I do have timber on board so we can stop and start anywhere we want. One thing to check is here in Australia we have 13 mil and 10 mil sheet. So you just gotta make sure you get the right one before you arrive on the job. It's a bit of a gamble. This morning I just got 10 mil and lucky it's 10 mil, but sometimes you might pick up 10 mil and then you get out here and it's 13 mil, which is a real bugger. I'm going to keep cutting it out 
and I'll get back to you when we've uh, made a bit of progress. If you've got two people, or you can do this with any size patch really, even smaller mainly, is just cut a piece out that you know is going to cover the bad area. And then uh, we'll lift it up, Abdul. Everybody welcome Abdul back from Afghanistan. Let's try and make it parallel with this. And out a bit. Yeah, but never. Take it out a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Just squish it on as you like. Just cut it out. Make sure you don't move the sheet. Push that corner up when you do it. Yeah. And just keep running it. Go further past. Past. And you want to line it up with here, over that way, a bit more, yep. You just want to measure, just make sure it's like the length of the sheet. Yep. That's it. important you know there's a light here so there could be cables running through so you don't want to be cutting too deep in so that's why we're taking a bit of extra care all right so we've pretty much cut everything out here um, now we just slowly try and pull it down and um, where it's still sticking we just cut with our Stanley knife and it should all come down in one great big mess
that a bit better. You want to get your drill and go through and unscrew everything. So there's plenty of places to screw to, but we want, oh yeah, see, see this cable right here? That's why we're always careful. Um, so we're going to put a timber on here to stitch these two together. Of course we can screw to here. So, there's a pencil over there behind, under that. So you just want to mark where your fixing points can go. I'll do it over that side soon. Let's get the back one. Make sure the corners are chopped out. Bits of glue just to stop the sheet sitting flat. Scrape those off. So we're going to get a, put a timber here, just rough size. Then we're going to go to there. So seven hundred. Maybe one here, 700, 400, 700, 400, maybe one there, 500. Maybe one here, 300. So let's go chop them. <laughs> 